Hey everybody and welcome to Thursday Talks uh, with some of our team here uh, at Turning Point. I've got my beautiful wife, yes. Pastor Sharla, hey. Pastor Rob, and what, what a great young man on the end here, Juwan Benjamin. Benjamin. Joining hey. the conversation, uh, we're just yeah. gathering and we're talking about relationships, we're talking about covenant, yeah. and uh, we're hoping that this will encourage you, inspire you, create some conversations yeah. uh, with you. You can put it in the chat, uh, maybe in relationship that you have. These are just some great conversation starters as we're coming at this idea of making relationships great, right. uh, because so many times it can be impossible yes, to have great relationships, long-lasting relationships, whether Absolutely. it's marriage, whether it's friendship, whether it's family, uh, and even church and how uh, it's so important for us to learn how to win in the area of relationships yeah. because God, everything God wants to do in our lives is through relationships. It's through relationships that's it, and that's why it can be so difficult. Yeah. That's why the enemy targets it Amen. Um, because God desires it. Yeah. So we're going to jump in today. So By good. the way, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, thank thanks you. for being a part. And share hopefully uh, you can share this today. Yeah. Go to our YouTube channel, like yeah. it, share it, and uh, we're going to be continuing to put great content on on this uh, for you. And if there are areas that you want to know about and you'd like to hear more about, would you just let us let know? Us know. Uh, maybe just put it in the chat uh, or let us know uh, through our email at our website, turningpoint.org church. Yeah. All right, let's jump off today, guys. Today we're going to continue the idea uh, that in Genesis, God's desire for relationship when he created Adam and Eve mm -hmm. was, was family. It was. He wanted intimacy. He wanted fruitfulness, mm -hmm. which is why he gave them the command to be fruitful and multiply. Amen. And we see that again in Noah's uh, coming off the boat, you know, be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. And then we talked earlier today about how in Matthew 28, uh, the Great Commission, which right. is go into go all the world, make disciples. preach the gospel, yeah. right? Make disciples, yes. baptize them. Uh, baptize means to immerse in a way of yeah. thinking. Yeah. Uh, we've been talking about that. Disciple means to transmit a way of thinking. Right. It's, that's really what we're talking about from God's Word. This isn't yeah. our thinking. This is God's thinking. Amen. And God knows how relationships should work. So if we'll right. just line up with his word and put it into practice by faith, yes, even sir. if we don't feel it, right? Right. We've got to act our way into a feeling sometimes. Yes, sir. It's, it's this idea that God wants us to be fruitful, uh, but the only way to do that, it requires intimacy. That's right. So when you think about a husband and a wife, for them to be fruitful and have children, it requires intimacy. Amen. Uh, it's like that even, you know, in an, the animal kingdom, you can see that uh, in nature, yeah. that anything that gets intimate reproduces. Yes, sir. And so that's why I want to maybe just hit this idea of why covenant relationship is so important, so important. and why we've got to do our part to make sure that they are intimate, they're close, yes, sir. Uh, that they are real, they're authentic, not perfect, but they're committed right. to yes. what? Fruitfulness. Yes, sir. Right? Being so we've got to have intimacy. Yes, so let's sir. talk about that. Let's yes, talk sir. about maybe how the enemy attacks relationships, and it's really because he's trying to stop intimacy so that God's desire for fruitfulness Amen. can happen. I believe also, Pastor Michael, I believe the reality is the reason he attacks families, the reason he attacks marriages. We talked about this Sunday. The, the truth of the matter is everybody starts out in a marriage thinking they're going to last yeah. forever. Yeah. Yeah. But only about half of, of, of the marriages do, and that's mm -hmm. because the enemy is a master tactician yeah. at trying to destroy marriages, trying to destroy families and relationships yeah. because he wants to stop the productivity. He wants to stop the kingdom of God right. from advancing. It is the first ministry that we have. Mm -hmm. You and I have talked about that for years. Mm -hmm. Our families are the most important part uh, of, of our ministry. Yeah. And if they're not if very, if we don't, if we don't keep them close and love them and nurture them and parent them and and, and love our wives yeah. like Christ loved the church, it, it hinders our. And I think that starts out with us being close to God. <clears throat> right. You know, we've got to have intimacy so with the Father. Good. I know for me, there's no mm -hmm. way I could be intimate with Charla, with Amen. our children, with our team. Uh, I couldn't on. be intimate if I didn't have that closeness Amen. with God. You know, that's why it's so important to discover true intimacy right. uh, so yeah. that we can be intimate. Yes, sir. Uh, intimacy yeah. into the deepest part of me. Yes. Into, into you. Me. Yeah. Um, Love but that. anyway, so the enemy attacks relationship, even mm -hmm. in churches. Yes, right. sir. You know, talk he tries to sow, sow deceit, hurt, wound. Yep. Many times we don't talk about it. Uh, we don't confront it. Uh, we just try to deal with it. 
And uh, what happens is, is that negativity begins to form a distance and a wedge, and then the enemy separates mm. people from that close relationship. Yes, and then, you know, obviously uh, begins to write a wrong narrative. So that's why it's important right. for us to stay close to God and stay close to each other. Amen. And I think you have to understand commitment. Like, I think commitment is so important because if you're committed to God, yeah. then you're going to be you're going to be close to God. When you're spending time with Him, the more like Him you're going to become. You're going to have the fruit in your life of spending so time good. with God. And then when you're com and when you're committed in marriage, like we, we talk about, we don't we don't even use the word divorce. We are mm -hmm. committed yeah. to each. We've, we've right. made a decision right. that we're going to be committed for life. And then yes. we manage that decision every single day right. by the way that we treat one another. Yeah, so good. And, so, and, and it's the same in any relationship. Yep. If you're in a relationship with church people, you know, you come into it's not a contract. It shouldn't be a contract mm -hmm. where you come in and say, well, as long as long I'm going to I'm going to be a part of this family as long as it serves me. Yeah. As long as I get to do what I want to do yeah. and I get to you know have my say, then I'm going to be committed. But the minute that I get my feelings hurt right. or you don't fulfill my needs or I don't it's not meeting my needs right. I'm out I'm out of here not realizing that it yeah. hurts there's so much damage and hurt yeah. and woundedness that can come from that I love what you just said about manage mm -hmm. that's powerful because yeah. that is the reality is we have you know as friends that we've been friends 26 years we've managed that friendship there have been ebbs and flows mm -hmm. there have been seasons where yeah. we've been more active and right. seasons where we were raising kids and yes. couldn't be as active right. and, but it's that manage Management. We still knew what 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 our role was in each other's life, right. you know, and it brought us to the point we are today. Right, you know, it's that covenant right. that, that we're in. Yeah, absolutely. I think a, Genesis even shows us so much when it comes to intimacy, because intimacy just denotes mutual vulnerability. That's good. Um, the original plan of God was for the two to be naked. Mm -hmm. I know we use in a euphemism way of of of. We, we look at it more in a sexual activity, but mm -hmm. intimacy is when two people can be naked before each other. I'm not hiding nothing right. from you. I'm not covering myself up. But yeah. immediately, watching the Bible, once the seat crept in, once everything, uh, uh, mm. the betrayal between Adam and God even happened, what's the first thing you do once relationship is br good, it breaks? You hide. Yeah. Yes. And so the first thing God said is, Adam, where are you? Oh, <laughs> like, good, where are man. you? And so in a relationship, I think relationships always go downhill mm -hmm. uh, uh, once intimacy is broken and yeah. the, the the highlighter or the indicator when intimacy has been broken is when people begin to hide and you lose yeah, the vulnerability so good. that was and, good what he just said the vulnerability of it all mm -hmm. yep. so i think intimate relationship yep. means no fig leaves come on mm, sir no fig you know what i mean yeah, so there's there's nothing to hide and i think that's where god wow. wants us which means we do have to be vulnerable yes. in relationship but so many times we've been hurt mm -hmm. In relationship, yes, right? Sir. So when you make yourself vulnerable, you take a risk. Yes. And so many times our defense mechanism yep. is to say, I'll never be hurt again. Mm -hmm. And we harden our heart Come and we're on, stopping sir. what God wants yeah. to do in our That's life. so good. Because even though we've been hurt by people, we've also been healed yes. Yes. by people. Mm -hmm. Through people. Right. You know, so we have to understand that. Isn't that amazing? That's yeah. such a cool thing. Yeah. But the enemy says, no, no, don't get connected in relationship. Right. Don't get connected in commitment. People are just going to hurt you. Yeah. No one's going to be for you. Don't get connected in church. Don't yeah. get connected in kingdom. Church is full of hypocrites. Church is dead. Preach, and the sir. enemy just gets in your ear. But what he's doing yeah. is he's trying to stop fruitfulness in your in life, your life. That's that right. God wants to bring that That's multiplication, right. yeah. which is actually where we're fulfilled. Yeah, and it's and the power in all that is, yeah, you're hindering the fruitfulness in your life, but listen, you're hindering the fruitfulness in the lives of the people that yeah. God wants to use so you true. to connect with. Yeah. So yeah. And so when you when you understand the responsibility mm -hmm. of vulnerability that we do have to risk being hurt. Yeah. We do have to risk that that, that relationship is gonna go south yeah. or sour. Mm -hmm. But it's worth it because in the end, what if it doesn't? And it's an unrealistic. What if it is a good thing? It's so thing? true. And it's unrealistic to <laughs> yes. think I'm going to come into, say, a friendship or yeah. a church relationship or even a marriage and never be hurt. Right. <laughs> my, unrealistic. my feelings aren't going to get hurt. And sometimes <laughs> we can come into a place like church and yeah. have an unrealistic, unrealistic. expectation. Yeah. Oh, that this is a place where there's no hurt, there's no hurt yeah. feelings, there's no offense. That's not true. Right. Because we're people. So good. And we man. have issues. Yeah. But we've got to draw close to God and then draw close to each other. So let's talk. So good. Let's turn the corner because there's a, a potential or an abundance of potential inside of us, right? Mm -hmm. So right. you think about a seed. You think about an acorn. Come on. Uh, you think about even in the, 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 the male seed, mm -hmm. there's the potential for a human being. Yes, you know, inside of an acorn, there's the potential for 
a tree. A tree yeah. And so we have potential on the inside of us, and that's why God wants intimate relationship in marriage, in family, in friendship, and in kingdom so uh, community through the local church small groups, is because that's how our potential comes out. Mm -hmm. That's how our potential is multiplied. So mm -hmm. with that in mind, let's look at these four aspects of our lives, just, just four thoughts as we think about our potential. So the first one is this, and we can just jump in, is called the arena, the arena. This simply means this is the part of me that I know and you know. Right. It's the part that I see and you see. Uh, it's the part where I'm trying to be the best version of myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm prayed up, mm -hmm. right? Uh, <laughs> and, and, and I need uh, to, to be real and authentic. Right. Right. But there is this arena of my life where, as Paul said, uh, he said, I've given you not only this message, but I've given you my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he was saying, this is me. So he was being authentic. Right. And so this first area is uh, I know and you know. Uh, but we can't stop there. Which can, which can kind of be our public persona, Or right? the image. It's the image that we present yeah. to everybody in the room. Right. Everybody knows this about you. Like when I, when I look at Pastor Charla, I know she is alive, she is well, <laughs> she's got energy for days, she's going to light up any room she walks into. Oh, okay. Everybody knows that, right, about her because of the, the relationship you can just see that. Right. Absolutely. And we can say that about all of us. We all have that. Uh, that, that arena aspect of our lives that's important, relationships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's almost like it's our, our social media platform. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, right? right? It's, it's like somebody once real. said, uh, <laughs> if your life was only as good as, as or however it goes, as the, the, the story you pretend yeah. it is on Facebook. I don't know. Yeah, I, I just, it'd be incredible. I just butchered that. <laughs> but it's our we highlight get it. reel. You know, it's it. our highlight yeah. reel. Yeah. And, and that's okay. Like, we want to yeah. put, it's not okay to fake, right. but uh, it's this <laughs> idea that here's the space I know and you know, yeah. but we can't really be intimate yeah. at that level. Right. Like, right. we can say, yeah, right. I know. Right. You know, I know, but you don't, so there, there has to be a closeness. Yes. There has to be an intimacy. Yeah. There's got to be an intentionality yeah. behind it. So there's the arena. Here's the second uh, aspect of our life and relationship. It's the mask. Mm -hmm. It's the mask. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, before people started wearing masks because of COVID right. to church, <laughs> they've been wearing masks uh, for to church yes. forever, forever. <laughs> right? And so there's the mask, yeah. and it's the part that uh, I know, but I don't want you to know. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, and it could be out of shame. Sure, it could be out of guilt. Yes. It could be out of insecurity. Um, it could be out of pride. Fear. But there's the mask yeah. portion, and so let's talk about that. This yeah. this idea that we don't see things as they truly are mm -hmm. um, in people's lives, mm -hmm. and the only way to get to the place where you can see that part um, is for us to be vulnerable. Like we said, it's the fig leaf. Mm -hmm. You know, so many people yeah. uh, do church and do kingdom with the fig leaf. But it's the mask. It's the mask. Right? I don't want you to see who I really am. Right. Because I'm afraid you wouldn't like me. Yeah. yeah. Any any thoughts on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think we have to go to, and this is, I mean, maybe not the, the word we would like to use all the time, but it's called being fake. Right? <laughs> yes. And it's literally what it is. But I think a lot of times we look yeah. at being fake as offensive to us when being fake is a mechanism of defense for mm. someone else. Mm. And what, what you end up seeing, whenever somebody presents a fake image of something, they're trying to protect something else. Mm. Yeah. And, and, and I think it's the plan of the enemy to cause you trauma mm. because when you are... When you go through trauma, a lot of us were trapped in the last event that it happened in. Wow. And so we're in the future now. We're living in life, but she's still back in 98. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? That person's still back in Preach, 03. Man. That person's still back in whatever her, yeah. whether it was their father, yep. their mother, wife, husband, doesn't yep. matter. They're yep. trapped in that last yes, place sir. of trauma. And so what do they do now? Even though you didn't do anything to me, or you didn't do anything, yeah. to me, you didn't do anything to me, yeah. this still happened to me. So I'm going to put this up mm -hmm. because the last time that I released this type of vulnerability, it was abused. Mm. It was ignored wow. it was neglected it was whatever and so fake right when we're when we're when we are presenting these things on social media when we are coming in here acting like we got everything all together mm -hmm. but knowing we're wrecks at the yeah, house right. we're trying to protect something yeah. in us but here's the thing the only way to bypass trauma is vulnerability or yeah, is relationship so and honest. so right and so yeah. if you pay attention a lot of people will stop relationships because that's like the transportation to get past that wall we even say the words mm. oh my 
my guard was down. Mm -hmm. You know, put yeah. my yeah. guard up. Different things so like true. That. Yeah. So absolutely. That's good, I think people man. stay away from church too. Yeah. Uh, Jesus said that you know we don't come to the light mm -hmm. because we don't want our darkness to be, to exposed. be exposed. Which is why community and relationship is so important, as Pastor Chris Hodges used to teach us, if somebody doesn't know your secrets, mm -hmm. you are in trouble. Mm. Big time. You need to have somebody That's in your right. life that knows what you're really yes. struggling with. And it's actually uh, a, so a way good. that strengthens you, but it also brings freedom. It does. Because when you bring it into the light, see, the enemy wants you to keep that secret thing yeah. mm -hmm. in the dark. Right. That's where his power is. But as soon as you bring it to the light, yep. there's healing. Yes, sir. James 5, 16. Preach, confess man. your sins one to another that yeah. you may be healed. So we confess to God for forgiveness, yeah. but we confess to another trusted believer for yeah. healing. For healing. Mm. And so, Say that one more time. Uh, That's yeah. powerful. So we confess to God for yes. forgiveness, yes. but we confess our sin to another believer yes. for, for healing. healing. Mm. So think about That's this. Rich, God man. created it so that we would need a person to yeah. be healed. That's it. Right. That's it. <laughs> so there are certain That's areas of our plan. lives that will <laughs> never be healed until we bring it into yeah. the light. That's why small group is so important. So That's important, why covenant guys. is so important yes. uh, because it's about finding freedom. And, and those relationships that God does connect you to, those relationships that are, whether it's a, a Paul, which would be a mature person mm -hmm. in your life, a Timothy, yeah. a brother, a, 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 a son, a Paul. It's so important to have these relationships because mm -hmm. they help you become everything that God has called you to become. Yeah. And they're safe, trusted. You have to be able to, to share something with someone that's safe, yeah. someone that you trust, yeah. that's, that you know when you begin to open up your heart, they are not going Come to. On. They're not going to take, take it and abuse it. They're not going to judge you. That's they're right. not going to reject you. They're not going to make you feel so ashamed. Good. Because the truth is, all of us, <laughs> all of us have issues. You've already said it. We all have issues, and the only hope that we have is Christ. Yeah. And so, if we can just realize that we all have issues and be open about those issues, mm -hmm. take the fig leaf off, take the mask off. If we can deal with that, and we yeah. can become intimate, and we can really share with one another, then we're going to see fruitfulness. Yeah, so good. That's where the fruit's going to so come good. from. That's the goal. It's the fruitfulness. And I think. And the enemy tricks us. I'm yes, sorry. The enemy okay. tricks us into that. Yeah. That's so good, yeah. PC. And so when you're thinking about that person, yeah. I, I heard it said like this, it should be a person that's not impressed with you. Mm. You know, so you do want to make sure okay. like it's someone that, you yeah. know, not necessarily somebody that you're leading, right. uh, but maybe somebody that leading you, yeah. somebody that is your peer, right. like a Barnabas right. or a Paul, yeah. right, right. you know, uh, because, you know, you can be real with so them good. and they're not going to judge you, right? right? And so... Because uh, you can't share everything with everybody. Yeah. No. Like, right. I know some people that they, like, they sh they'll share their issue with everybody. Oh, yeah. Like, no, no, you don't need yeah. to, you're, you're, yeah. look, it's not time for that yet. Like, right. you need to get, right. you need to get sure. healed, so share it with, right. That's good. share it with your small group leader so and you may be your small group, but then you don't need to share it with the whole, everybody. Right. The whole yeah, and group. I think even in leadership, you, you know, we talk about this, you never really vent down. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You always vent up. Right. And I think that would kind of fall in that so because good. your leader, that's why everybody right. needs a leader, uh, is going to love you yeah. and help you overcome your weakness, mm -hmm. not judge you and so expose good, your weakness. Yes, right. That's, our enemy yes. wants to see our weaknesses and then expose our weakness. Yeah. Yes. But our leaders, our mentors, um, they want to not only see it, right. uh, but they want to protect it yeah. and then help us overcome and, it. And right. heal and see and healing. healing. Yeah. So we've got to take off yeah. the mask. And which know? is what small groups are for. That's right. Yes. That's where we remove the mask. Take off the mask. Yes. Let's look at the third so area. Uh, here's the, uh, the area called the blind spot. Mm. Ah, oh, the ah. blind spot. The blind spot may be harder than the mask. It is harder. It takes humility. Because with the mask, oh it's gosh. like, I know, you're right, I do. <laughs> but with the blind spot, you're like, what, what, what are you talking, talking about? What? <laughs> What? That's not selfish. No, I don't. Right. I don't right. talk like that. <laughs> it's a, the reason it's called a blind spot is because they see it, but you don't. Right. Mm. And this requires ah, vulnerability. This yes. requires you to trust, trust. their eyes. True right? trust. And so um, oh we, we have gosh. blind spots. That's Our why children are really good at showing yeah. us their blind spots, yes. right? <laughs> They'll tell you the truth. In a, right? in a minute. Yeah. In a minute. And so with that being said, uh, there's this idea... Uh, with the blind spot that uh, we don't see things as they are. Right. And that's why we've got to have trusted covenant friendships that we give permission to so wound good, us. Man. Like, if, if I've got a bad attitude, please tell me. If I'm yes. coming across as prideful, please tell me. Yeah. If I'm coming across as condescending, right. please tell me. Like, help me. Yeah, same here. Right? It's yeah. like you, somebody's got broccoli in their teeth, right. but they don't know it. 
right? Somebody's zippers down. Yeah. They're standing up in front of people. Yeah. They have no idea. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh. Yeah, come on, baby. You know, it's like I love you too much <laughs> yes. to let you. So I think we've got to be open to that because yeah. the goal is fruitfulness. Yeah. yeah. Blind yeah. spots. Right, right. So good. Any thoughts? Yeah. I think blind spots are all about perspective. You know, you only can see from your POV. Right. Yeah. And uh, my wife is the the best perspective uh, <laughs> police in my life. Mine too, <laughs> brother. Uh, oh, I, I think you know what you're talking about. It's just the way you said it. It's real, it's, you got to watch your tact. And it, yeah. like different stuff. Like, I'm, not, I'm not sharp. I'm not sharp. But the yeah. way I says it, you're sharp. Like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And But the thing is, when you really know that someone cares about <laughs> Right. The success of you. Yeah, come on. Once man. again, I'm not cutting you no. because I want you to, to hurt leave. you. Yeah, yeah, I want you better. Yeah. You gotta That's watch so this good. on the long run. That's and the so, um, you know, even perspective. Perspective, I said this all the time, is built by two uh, things it's external influence and internal yeah. dialogue. What happens around you then causes you to talk within yourself, and mm -hmm. then that's how you have that perspective. Well, guess what? Somebody has a whole nother perspective based on what they're around. Yeah. Based on what yeah. they're around. Yeah. And, so and their think, inner dialogue. Exactly, yeah. and their inner dialogue. And so I think yeah. it's when we could actually mutually submit to one yeah. another yeah. and say, hey, dude, I don't have it all. That's right. I need you to watch my six because yeah. I can't see behind that's me. It, you don't have eyes pointing in one it. way. Right. And so relationship, yeah. once again, is the key. And so I think good. it's the yes so to that. Good, to that. Area. Well, and I think that when you said that about the inner dialogue, because oftentimes our inner dialogue is it, it's created by the voices that raised us, the voices mm -hmm. that we've listened to, whether, whether it's good, bad, doesn't matter. And so the, our perspectives can be skewed right. sometimes. We can, mm -hmm. we can see it, and that is really how we see it. Yeah. But it's not right. That's yeah. not the way we should be seeing it. And so we need people that can come into our lives and say, hey, let me help you tweak that. And then, and we can say, man, thank you so much for helping me tweak my perspective because yeah. I want to go well, further. Well, faster. I think too, it's it's creating a feedback culture. We talk a lot about so that good. here at Turning Point. Give us feedback. Like, yeah. don't be offended by feedback. Right. When it's negative feedback, we don't like that. It's like, no, 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 you misinterpreted me. You don't understand me. What's wrong with you? You know, your lens is cracked. It's, 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 it's like, if that's, wrong. if that's our response, we need to come back to the yeah. cross. We need to come so back good. to that place of sitterness and wholeness and realizing yeah. that we do have blind spots. Let's wrap up yes, sir. Uh, this fourth area. This is where God wants us, and it's yes. potential. Yeah. This is the area that I don't know, and neither do you. Right. But God mm. does. So God sees the potential. I love this. Uh, and the devil senses your potential. That's why he wants to hinder. Yeah. Okay? If you've wondered why you took a step towards God and started trying to live the God first life and it feels like all hell broke loose, mm -hmm. yep. stuff popped up in a relationship, there was an attack. Yep. It's the enemy because yep. you're getting close to that breakthrough and that breakthrough. fruitfulness. Come on, sir. So stay faithful. Yes. Be obedient. Be consistent because there's a potential inside of you yeah. that's only unlocked. Through love relationship, it. I love it. it's re that's why small ah. groups are so important. Yeah. That's why being connected to a local church yes. is so important. Yes. That's why having the right voices yes. in your life so is so important yes. because they call the potential. They out call of it us. out. I mean, how, of, how many of us here didn't believe in ourselves, All of us. and someone saw something in us, yes. spoke to it, and it caused us to yeah. believe a little bit more? Yeah. And so that's so why powerful. it's so important. Ephesians four sixteen. Uh, I don't know if you still have that scripture pulled up, but I wanted to end. And we have this saying here at Turning Point that we is better than me. Than me. So we yeah. need relationships. Yeah. I need you. You need me. Yeah. I need you. You yeah. need me. Yeah. We, we need each other. To fulfill our yeah. potential. Because, because, if, it, yeah. it is. Listen, the currency of the kingdom is relationships. Yeah. Yeah. That's how God gets us from where we are to right. where we want to be. Big doors swing on little hinges. Yeah. That's how God gets you into your next seasons. Right. And we miss that when we don't realize or recognize the right. importance of people in our lives. I've lived my life through seasons where I did it alone. Mm -hmm. I was isolated and about wrecked my mm. life. And mm. it was when I made the decision to get people involved yeah. in, my, in my present. Come on where my future became clear. So good. And wow. so that is so important to understand. I love that. Yeah. So don't retract from right. relationship because it's the only way to grow. So yes. let's read Ephesians 4, yes. 16, then we're going to pray it out. Ephesians 4, 16 says, He makes the whole body fit perfectly together. As each part does its own special work, it helps the other parts grow so that the whole body is the healthy body. and grown Come on. and full of love. So good. So you have a part, I have a part. When we do our part, 
we help each other grow. We are together. the church. Yes. We, we are, are the body together. of Christ. We are the temple. Yes. Get connected. Yeah. Let's get. Let's deal with our masks. Amen. Let's get real. Let's know that we, when we get truthful with God, we're going to find mercy. So we're going to find grace. And let's get connected. There's potential on the inside of you. Amen. There's untapped potential. Yes. There's fruitfulness. There's blessing. There's yes. purpose. There's all of this abundance that God has for you, but we've got to get connected yes. in relationship. Yes. So let's end on that note. Let's just pray out. Father, yes. we thank you thank for you, every Lord. person watching today. Thank you for your word going forth today, uh, accomplishing what you sent it to do, Lord. And we just speak life Amen. to every person today. We speak healing. We speak courage over them, God, that they will get closer to you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And that they will find connection in kingdom relationship, God, that they'll get involved in a small group. Yeah. They'll take a step through next steps. Get on a dream team. Get, get, get connected to people, God, yes. and to, to believe yes. that all things are possible, yes. God, that you're going to bring forth good things Amen. and even out of the pain of their power past, you're going to use it yes. as purpose in mm. your future. Yes. We thank you. May your kingdom come. May your will be done. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. you. Share Have this a great, with somebody. Great week.